rockin' roll presents Prince track versus track rebooted the albums for you. Yes, that's true. We are conducting a worldwide talent oh, search. What are you looking for? What are we looking for? Well, first and foremost, you have to get free. You know, when it comes time to download your work into your fans' computers, you can't have any other contractual obligations. Second of all, you have to get smart. The more substantial your education, the more substantial your income in the new city. And thirdly, and above all, in the face of all adversity, you must be able to... track by track called track versus track the albums today's will be based on prince's first 1978 album for you what this is is i picked my favorite songs from least to most favorite and ranked them from number nine to number one because this album has nine songs and uh the reasons why i ranked them that way oh but what about our other track by track thing we are doing well thunder they were just two all over the place yeah. And uses up a lot of time. So instead of uh, like five segments at a time, we'll only be doing one segment uh -huh. per album. And then when we're done with all the albums, we will rank all of Prince's officially released songs from the bottom to top. And we're going to do about 20 songs per segment. Great. So these ranks are all of, of your choosing, not mine, huh? Of course, old school Daddy Pop at his finest. You mother uh, Hey, uh, hey, no, 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 no cussing uh, on these, Thunder. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, right. But yes, since I am the true Prince friend around here, this is what I choose as the best. <laughs> so, without further ado, mm -hmm. let's let's kick into For You. Hey, hey, Ryan, I didn't even fucking plan that. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, and the number nine song. Yes, coming in at number nine is the eighth track on the album. The song's called So Blue. Now, let me just clear this up right away, by the way. <laughs> that rhymed again. Yeah, yeah. Just because I say least favorite to most favorite doesn't mean I dislike any of these songs. I just, on this album, I am drawn to this song the least. Either way, still a great song, as Prince really doesn't have a bad song. Just like with pretty much everything on his first five albums, Prince plays everything in this song and does all the vocals. And I think he was only like 17 years old when he started recording this album. Hey, Thunder, any thoughts before we move on? Yeah, I like this song because it's... Uh like takes, it, it, yeah, it takes me to a different uh, time and period. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, and I, I, I know mean, when it, I lived it, in Five Pump Studios, I really dug his first two albums a lot. Might be your least favorite, but at the same time, I don't know right now what well, it's my least other favorite songs, song. well, yeah, what other songs <laughs> are coming up. Anything. So this is how it's going to be based, so we'll talk about it afterwards and we'll keep moving on. So, all right. All right. Real hey, here's number eight. All right, ranking at number eight is the title track and first track, the all acapella for you. This song right off the bat showcases Prince's vocal talent at a young age. Yes, I like it better than So Blue, but for me, it's still one of the weaker songs in this album. Yeah, well, call me crazy, but I like So Blue better than I like this. Oh, you know, man. I mean, yeah, he's... It's not for everybody, he's, but... He's got, he's got that vocal talent and do all that, but yeah. I, I, I still, uh, so far... So well. So blue. So blue. <laughs> and no, you don't have something that he can test your vocal talent on. Uh, hey. <laughs> hey, now for number seven. And number seven is In Love, second track on For You. Ooh, yeah. Not gonna lie, <laughs> never been into disco much, and this song is disco vibed, but like I said, I just like no song in this album. Just my, it's my seventh favorite. Okay, well, good song. Uh, I like his falsetto. This or not? Uh, yeah, he sings just really good. That kind of a, um, what do you call it? Like disco. <laughs> yeah, where you jump up and down, you know. 
Yeah. Like, bounce. <laughs> yeah. But not cross cross. Are we ready for the next one? All right, what's six? is a number three jam on For You and his first minor hit and the biggest song on this album, Soft and Wet. And I will say that keyboard solo we just heard almost made the song move up even further. But this is where it felt for me. Hey. Any just thoughts there, Thunder? Eh, just, I, I like the song. It's something you can groove to. You know, it's beat. Doing it almost that keyboard something. solo we just heard? Oh yeah, yeah. excellent, excellent. Uh, it's fun All right. Uh, well, there we go. Number five, please. We get at number five is this big ballad on For You and the sixth jam on the album, Baby. With his multi-layered vocals, you could clearly hear how good he really was vocally and how talented this cat was at such a young age. Yeah. Uh, and Baby. Baby, yeah. There you go. Yeah, this season. And how he ends it at the end, where I uh, hope my baby has eyes just like you, our baby has eyes just like you. Right, right. Uh, he always wanted a kid that was clear, but yeah, it didn't work out for him. He, he makes his uh, point known by some of the things he says in his songs. You know? Yeah, for him to be able to sing like that at 17 when he made this album, jeez. <laughs> All right. Very, very nice. And that number four is jam number four on For You, and it's Crazy You. This is one of my favorites to sing along to back in uh, Five Palms, and even recorded an unplugged that I made sure didn't make it onto the final cut of Darker Records. Ooh, thank God for that. Yeah, yeah, eat my. Yeah, that. <laughs> so, what do you think of Crazy You? All the, all these songs on this album seem to have that like real, like a mellow vibe. Mellow, yeah, yeah. mellow would be a good word for it. Mellow disco y vibe. Yeah, this was made in 1978. So. Yeah, yeah. And that was the popular sound then. And he took it and ran with it. <laughs> All right. I mean, he even produced. He was the youngest artist ever allowed to produce his own album. Pardon? He was his, he was the youngest al artist at that time ever to be allowed to produce his own album. Oh, okay. Warner, Bro Warner Brothers allowed that. And of course, they had that big war towards the end. And know. became a slave later. Right. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Smack us up with number three. Number three, hey, is the number seven jam, My Love Is Forever. Two reasons I love this song besides that ridiculous falsetto we just heard is the second part we're going to play right here, this end guitar piece. Showing off his badass guitar chops early on, but not as good as the number one song coming up soon. So what do you think of that one, Thunder? Uh, when I first started listening to it, I, I kind of got that old time Motown, Motown type vibe. Oh, hey, okay. He, that's what, about the guitar? that's what I heard. Uh, then the guitar at the end, it uh, added like some some good. To it. Uh, let me see. Uh, there's got to be a word for that. It, it, it was rocking. Yeah. You know. This, for <laughs> a disco <laughs> Motown song, huh? Yeah. It was all right. I like that. And now number two off. So far, it's like one of the better ones. So I see why it's number three. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And now number two off for you. Ha! Coming in at number two is the fifth jam on For You. Yes, this was a hard uh, toss-up between My Love Is Forever and this song, Just As Long As We're Together. But in the end, I love the long jam session and where it breaks down around 3.30 in the song and this falsetto is gold again. What do you think, Thunder? I like it. Uh, number two is probably where it belongs. <laughs> I'm still waiting to hear this number one pick of yours. Yeah. Uh, and uh, My Love Is Forever. That belongs probably where it is, so, at number three. There you go. We got some good agreements on that one. All right. Good deal. Yeah. And what's next? All right. Hey, and now, thy number one song on For You. It's one thing to be the number one song, but this track took number one with a dominance. By far the best song in For You, with Prince shredding this guitar from open to finish like a man possessed. And man, I wish more people knew this song. So hopefully peeps like us and that guy Prince's friend can get more people listening to gems like this. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's one of the reasons you liked him in the first place, right? It was all the guitar that he does. Well, and, that's... Not always. 
I first heard Prince in the 1999 album. Yeah. I got I got to learn all this as I got older. Yeah. But this song well, probably rocks the whole of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's your number one pick. Yes. And stand by that. <laughs> pick it all you want. Yeah. Yeah. I, but he goes through like he does a guitar I, piece. I, I have to agree with you on that one. After every chorus, he hits into a guitar piece. And then he finishes at the end of the song with this, this thunderous jam. Right, right. So, yeah. And I'm yours. Or, so to speak. Because so, you're mine. Yeah. Hey, Thunder, what oh, do we got to do? We got to subscribe to our channel. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's subscribe. Now. Rest in peace, nigga. <laughs>